Now moving forward, let's take up the next one that is question number 14. Two vertical poles are 150 meter apart and the height of one is three times that of other. If from the middle point of the line joining their feet, an observer finds the angle of elevation of their tops to be complementary. Clear? Then the height of the shorter pole is. Seems to be pretty simple from height and distance segment. Let's try. We have one pole and another one. Correct? Now, when you join the base of the two, this is 150 meter. From the middle, what the question is talking about? This angle and another one. So, if I consider this one as alpha, this is pi by 2 minus alpha. This height is h, this is 3h. This is 75, this is also 75. So, simple now we have to calculate. Let us start it. Tan alpha, if I look in this triangle, I can also mark like a, b, m, p, q. So, if I look in the triangle PMB, I will say tan alpha is equal to h by 75 and from the other triangle that is AMQ, I will say tan 90 minus alpha is equal to 3h by 75. Tan 90 minus alpha that means cot alpha, correct? So, just solve these two equations and you will be getting here. 75 by 3 h is equal to h by 75. So, this gives me 3 h square is equal to 75 square or h is equal to 25 root 3. Whatever unit is given to us, it was meter. So, let us write here meters. So, I am sure this question is clear. Let us check out from the given options 25 root 3 that is option number 1 is the correct answer. I am sure this question is also clear, simple from height and distance. Let us take up the next one. If f from r to r is a function defined by fx equals greatest integer of x minus 1 cos 2x minus 1 divided by 2 into pi or in other words you can say cos 2x minus 1 into pi by 2. Now, question is talking about continuity and discontinuity at different points. Clearly, when you talk about the greatest integer function greatest integer function is discontinuous for all integral values of x. But when you look at this term which is in multiplication, this is cos 2x minus 1 upon 2 into pi. When you talk about integral multiples of x, when you talk about integral values of x, what is going to happen? It would be integral odd multiple of pi by 2. Odd multiple of pi by 2 that will take it towards 0. So, whenever it is trying to make it discontinuous, it will make it 0 this will become continuous everywhere. So, the correct answer will be it is continuous for every real x. You can also check it by considering let x is equal to n and I am looking for continuity about point n. So, f of n where n is any integer. So, f n is simply equal to 0 because this will make it 0. Now, when you look at the left hand limit LHL limit h approaching to 0 greatest integer n minus h minus 1 cos 2 times n minus h minus 1 upon 2 into pi. Right? Now, when you check this term, this is n minus 1. When you apply limit, it will become 0. In the similar fashion, when you go for RHL, it will be limit h approaching to 0, greatest integer of n plus h minus 1, that will simply give you n minus 1. And here you can see the result because of this second term will be simply 0. So, let us write down n plus h minus 1 into cos 2 n plus h minus 1 into pi by 2 making it 0 again. So, what we observe here it is continuous everywhere. So, the correct answer from the given options we can choose as option number 2. So, I am sure this question is also clear. Let us move on to the next question that is question number 16. 
the distance of the point 119 from the point of intersection of the given line and given plane. So, when you talk about this question, you can see suppose we have a plane like this, correct? Now, the question is talking about there is a line which is intersecting at some point, suppose here. Now, one point is also given to us, say here it is 119, correct? Question is saying find the distance of this point of intersection with the given point. So, how to approach for it? We start by considering say this point is P and this point is say M. Now, we can write the coordinates for M. How? By considering this is equal to lambda. So, we can get the general point, right? So, let us start this question. Coordinates for M can be written as lambda plus 3, 2 lambda plus 4, 2 lambda plus 5. M lies on the plane therefore since M is lying on the plane so just put this one in the equation of plane this gives us lambda plus 3 plus 2 lambda plus 4 plus 2 lambda plus 5 is equal to 17 correct now just simplify you observe 5 lambda is equal to 5 that is lambda equals 1. So, we obtain the coordinates for the point M. So, point M is obtained as 4, 6, 7. P is already given to us as 1, 1, 9. We are looking for the distance PM just apply the distance formula to get the required length. Therefore, length PM is equal to square root of 9 plus 25 plus 4 that is root 38 units. Now, time to check from the given options root 38 is given here as option number 4. So, let us mark it as the required answer. So, I am sure this question from 3D is also clear. Let us take up another question.